What's up, peep? This your boy, Jay. Come on to you with an update for my 07 Grand Marquis. As you can see, I installed this GoRhino push bar, the 5040 push bar. Now, I took this one off my blue one because my blue one done been kind of wrecked a little bit. So, I got to do some work on it. Uh, push the, uh, redo the lateral arms and take the two rims to the shop and get the cracks and fixing the rims and whatever. And stuff like that. But I just took it off that car for now. And put, tried it on this Grand Marquis to see what it would look like on a Grand Marquis. 07 Grand Marquis. As you can see, it's still a little bent a little. You know, it ain't perfectly lined up like I would want it. But I just put it on here just to see what it would look like on a Grand Marquis. So, so yeah, it, you know. This is the 5040. Like I said, these are very easy to install. You know, you don't have to do any... Um, with these, you don't have to do any cutting or nothing like that. They just go right through, through here, through there, as you can see. And very easy, simple and easy to install these. I encourage anybody to get these um, push bars, these Go Rhino 5040s, because they're very easy to install on a car, man. I mean, very easy and very simple. Doesn't take a long time to install on the car either, man. I mean, you just put the um, bracket on to this little mount right here. There's a little mount right here in front of the radiator where you mount it at. You put that right on there and bam. You put your uh, you start bolting the rest of the stuff on here. I should have did a video on how to install one of these right here because like I said it's very easy and simple to install one of these things and yeah it is. So I'm going to go back into my blue crown vic and show y'all what happened to it. So, you know, yeah, I mean, I had my Go Rhino on this car, as you can see. Some idiot ran me off the road over around the corner around there. I ended up swerving out of it and jumping the curb or whatever and, and hitting somebody's car, which I've already taken care of. But yeah, I, it, um, see that damaged here where I had the uh, Go Rhino head right there? Just, you know, when it, when it pushed over, it pushed into this right here. Kind of put a whole little hole in that right there. And um, the rear end has been pushed over. I got this rim is cracked. I got to take it to the shop and have them to fix that. This rim is also cracked. So I got to take both these rims to the shop and have them both um, fixed. And then I got to have this... Um, rear ends pushed over some the uh i bent the lateral bar one side of the lateral bar so that's why this is pushed out further so all it takes is just another lateral bar to straighten this back out so i'm gonna end up getting a new lateral bar putting on here and i want i want to just change out this whole rear end period you know i want to just change this rear end out you know you just find another one and put on here so that's what I want to do with this car. As you can see that this is pushed over too far. And I end up jumping the curve. And I end up bending this little lateral bar up under here. So that's why one side is, you know, leaning, sticking out further. But once I get that taken care of, the green end will be back lined up properly like it's supposed to. Then I'll um, take um, these rims, get the rims back done, get them straightened, get them welded and straightened. And... I might just take this back to my paint shop and have them to redo my painting thing on this again. Have them to touch this paint up on it, redo this again. You know, get the scuffs, get the little scuff marks off of it right here, right there, and right there. Have them to get all that off. And this car will be back in no time. So, so that's all I got to do on this car and get that, get that taken care of. But yeah. That's just something I want. I need to get done. But other than that, I'm kind of happy with what I did, you know. Because I, I didn't think of this before, but this was the idea to put these push bars on this Grand Marquee here. So, I mean, I've seen them on older Grand Marquees, but not on the newer one, man. So, any more updates I get coming up with this car, I will keep y'all informed. So, with, you, with that being said, people, peace.